Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. I'm grateful to have you watching wherever you're at today. You know, I've noticed after living in Havasu for quite a few years now that there's two types of people here. Those that always lock every single door and window and those who really don't ever worry about locking anything. And maybe you fall into the first category. You lock the doors, the windows, the shed, the, the container outside. You've got a locking mailbox. Everything is locked down and secure. And that's a good thing in some ways. But think about how much our culture focuses on security. We buy locks and things to physically contain things. We pay for security systems and monitoring. Think about this. We buy doorbells that are hundreds of dollars and have cameras and microphones in them. Think about that reality for a second. That alone is amazing if you put yourself back in time 10, 15, 20 years that we have doorbells, like doorbells on our homes that have cameras and microphones and Wi-Fi connections. We are so in tune as a society with security for our stuff. But if we're honest, there's not much we can do to provide physical security for the thing that matters most, and that is our life. Now, sure, we can be safe and we can lock our doors to prevent home intrusion. We can have firearms and we can do all kinds of stuff, but it doesn't actually secure our life that much. But this does, however, provide a parallel for us as we talk about how we can have confidence in Jesus. See, Colossians 3, 3 says this, it says, For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ and God. And when Christ, who is your life, appears, you will appear with him in glory. See, this is such wonderful news that our eternal life is secure in Jesus. We don't have to worry about what happens at the end of our life, because if we're in Christ, that is, if Jesus is the Savior of our life, then the great news is that we will be in glory with him in heaven for all eternity. So what do we do with that? Well, first, I hope that you find hope and confidence in that. I hope that you find hope that your eternity is secure, that we have the hope of heaven in our future, that we don't have to stress and worry about every little danger that comes in this physical life, because the good news is that our spiritual life is secure. But also, we should let that redirect our focus. See, the first two verses of this chapter say that if you've been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not things that are on earth. So today, I hope that you take this to heart. Seek the things of ultimate significance. Pursue things in your life that honor and glorify God and make a, a lasting impact because success, fame, money, awards, possessions, they all fade. They all can be taken away. They all can be stolen from your life. So I pray that today you would pursue faithfulness in God and seek to invest in people and point them to Jesus and seek the things that are above because they can ultimately satisfy your life. I hope you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.